I learned that the guys that are doing it, um, one of the guys at this club was a on military leave, another one was a lawyer, another one was on the phone with his wife talking to his four kids saying, I'll be home in a couple hours, honey. And he wasn't sneaking around. His wife knew that's where he was. And they were very normal, dressed very, very conservatively. Next thing you know, they're on stage, greased down with these thongs, with these things stuffed in their thongs. Mm -hmm. um, and the women are going wild. And it was a moonlighting job. So you saw that this was not most people's real money income job. This was something they did on the side to either, you know, make a few extra bucks, get their rocks off, live out their own fantasy and help with some of the ladies' fantasies in the crowd. I also learned that you could tell some women that came in there, they men have been saving up for a month <laughs> for this night to bring their girlfriend who is gonna get married and this was the big night and they were not going to leave anything in question. They had two hours of stepping into a vacuum here and they were going to go wild. And they did. The women touch. It's interactive. Oh yeah. There's no telling them not to touch, actually. Like, you, you can completely be like, hey, hey, relax, relax, easy, easy. Nope. Mm -mm. They mm -mm. will not listen to you. They completely turn into feral, rabid animals. Uh, like, as soon as you lock the door. And what happens after hours. the first one touches? A lot of the other women get much more courageous and go, well, I'm Yeah, because it's touch. competition now. Yeah. It's like, all right, who can top the other one? Oh, you're going to go crazy over here? I'm going to go crazy over here. And then the next thing you know, like... I don't know. People are pregnant, and it's 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 terrible. <laughs> Look, it's completely impossible for a man to walk around on stage in a thong, sexy. It is. It's not even. It's not. It's a physical impossibility. You just have to completely commit, and it's not about us being sexual because the women don't go for a sexual fantasy. It might be a tad bit, but the majority like lies in entertainment. Can you entertain them while you're naked and, and doing the whole thing? And look, I like to dance, so I d would dance and whatnot. But but I, I had no pretense of like, wow, I'm really doing it for them right now. Let me let, let me. They're gonna go home and, and just dream of me. Like that's that's completely not <laughs> that's completely in my head, in reality. But in the movie, I completely have the other idea. <laughs> Vi a este joven andando por la calle hace unos seis años y en cuanto le vi supe que tenía que traerlo. Y dejar que mostrara su talento a todo el universo. Y esta noche le tendremos sobre este escenario para que lo veáis de cerca. Nuestro número principal, el auténtico. La estrella del espectáculo, el señor Magic, Mike. Well, Steven said he thought it would be a great idea. Um, it wasn't written yet, but he said I think it'd be a great idea. Well, then, and then I thought about it, and my heartbeat raised, and I started getting quite nervous about the idea. And then, as soon as I was like, "Oh, that's a scary proposition. That doesn't need to have." To okay. Come on, McConaughey, you got to, man. <laughs> if you don't, if you're gonna I mean, be in the one time, you ain't probably not gonna be in the stripper movie ever again. First time? Are you kidding me? You gotta like go I try it. It sounded later. something like, "Oh, really? Okay." Like it, it was just pretty quickly as I got it, it, I was like, oh, well, I've got to give that a try, man. It was a scary thing, and I was like, well, that's exactly why I got to try it. Um, actualmente dirige una empresa de accesorios para automóviles. Mm -hmm. Por supuesto, y una empresa de organización de eventos, otra de obras en tejados. La verdad es que la lista es larga. Vaya, es un hombre ocupado. <laughs> sí. Yeah, I, I always say it's a it's a it's a highbrow director doing a lowbrow subject, and and like he's never Soderbergh wouldn't even know how to do like a, a whole movie just about the dancing. Like he would get bored by that, and then there's no substance, and he's all about like class and substance. And I think that's why it was a perfect marriage. You know, if if you, if any other director directed this, they probably could fall into some pitfalls of. You know the the sleazier side of things that I don't think people really enjoy, and I think I thought he rode the line very well. 